Hello ladies and gents, welcome back to another old school update video. I was up until 3am last night spending 11 hours at Fishing Trawler just to get my full angler's outfit. We're going to be using that to do the new minnow fishing which is a new method of fishing to get sharks. We're going to be testing out with XP power and GP power and the amount of sharks you can get. Alongside talking about the other updates that came to the game and the dev blog that was released yesterday. So the fishing guild has received an expansion and the skill as a whole has been buffed from the guild having a plus 7 fishing level boost to anyone that's inside it including the new area and the old. The new area in the fishing guild is used to catch minnows which can be traded for sharks and in order to access this more click intensive a little bit more activity based fishing method you first must have 82 fishing and the full anglers outfit alongside having the fishing contest quest complete. If you have those requirements use the boat on the north side of the guild to get to the new area. Using a small fishing net you can catch minnows at a very fast rate and trade 40 of them in for sharks. It is a fast paced method of fishing with the fishing spot moving every 12 seconds exactly. And not only does it move all the time there's also a flying fish that can steal your minnows if you're not paying attention and you're fishing at the spot the fish is present. After testing out the new fishing method for exactly one hour I ended up with 18,800 minnows at level 91 fishing which turned into 470 sharks in one hour. And to calculate the XP I gained I didn't use a third party software I just wrote down the number of fishing XP I had before I started hour and the number I had at the end subtracted to start from the end and the result was 42k fishing experience. Someone from the clan chat was also testing it out at 99 fishing and he reported that he caught 21.7k minnows in one hour which turned into 543 sharks and he got 49k XP. And that concludes the fishing section in this update video. The dead man autumn season also got a few changes or updates. At midnight Universal time on Saturday the 8th, players will see the implementation of the 6 hour immunity for new players and the automatic completion for quests, alongside unlocking ancient magics. They also got some new XP visual indicators, one of which shows how far away you are from reaching your combat XP cap and the other showing how much XP you need to regain after death. The number of worlds on the Dead Man Seasonal has also been reduced and it saw the introduction of an Australian world. And the financial wizard has now been added to the central Karend bank. And in other news, the Australian World 91 is now a skill total world of 1750. Your mining gloves will now appear above dropped ores. The members only mining guild area is now a safe zone in PvP worlds. The damage bonus for the full elite void magic set will now be displayed on the equipment menu and the board game news board found within the games room has been removed. And here is a list of bug fixes for today's update. And by list I mean two. But there hasn't really been a lot to talk about in this update, it really was only the minnow fishing. But yesterday a dev blog was released for the content poll 54 which covers what will be in the next poll. Although we're not going to cover everything, we will cover what I believe to be the big ones. The first of which, improvements to free to play. They want to add Zamorok robes to free to play to buff free to play magic a little bit and they also want to introduce free to play castle wars. Imagine playing castle wars when everyone isn't just running around with ancient magics and barraging everyone. I mean you try and capture a flag and capture of the flag today and there's like three guys just sitting there. There's like two dozen barricades and the guys just spamming ancients. It's not really fun. They want to buff the preserve prayer. Its current boost is 20%. They want to buff that to 50% so a 30% buff and also have the prayer drain less prayer points over time. No one uses this prayer, it was the first prayer I got, haven't used it since. If this passes it might convince me to actually start using the preserve prayer. In free to play they want to add a new binding spell called Shackle, which will require 92 magic and bind players for 20 seconds, similar to Ice Barrage. And another question is, should the Protect from Magic stop having the durations of binding spells in ordinary old school runescape. They want to give the magic skill cape a perk which lets you change spell books as long as you're in a bank. They're offering a buff to elite void melee from 10% to 12.5% strength bonus, which is actually pretty insane. They want to buff Karamwan fishing, add new mining gloves and add a Slayer only Lizardman Shaman area while removing two shamans from the swamp area. The Lizardman Shaman cave 
will contain eight shamans and only be available to people on Slayer tasks and will require 100% Shazane favour. And although this isn't a question, this won't be pulled, they are going to give Brutal Black Dragons a Slayer requirement of 71 because at the moment it has no requirements. You can just go farm Brutal Black Dragons as early as you want and make lots of money. So yeah, that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, feel free to leave a comment and or a rating as it helps out the video and the channel. And if you're nice enough, consider checking out the Patreon page. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, I see you next time.